For nearly a century, the Big Bang Theory has been the cornerstone of our understanding of the universe's origin and evolution. According to this model, about 13.8 billion years ago, the entire cosmos emerged from an unimaginably hot and dense state, expanding and cooling over time to form the galaxies, stars, planets, and ultimately life as we know it. This expansion is quantified by a value called the Hubble constant, which tells us how fast space itself is stretching apart at this very moment. Yet, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful observatory ever launched, some of the most fundamental assumptions of this cosmic story are being reconsidered. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, launched in December 2021, is humanity's most ambitious eye on the cosmos. With a 6.5-meter primary mirror made of 18 hexagonal segments, it is more than two and a half times larger than Hubble's mirror, allowing it to collect vastly more light. Unlike Hubble, which mostly observes visible and ultraviolet light, JWST primarily observes the universe in infrared wavelengths. This capability lets it peer through clouds of cosmic dust that have long obscured the earliest galaxies and stars, revealing a universe previously hidden from view. Joost's infrared vision is critical because the expansion of the universe stretches visible light from distant galaxies into the infrared by the time it reaches us. Without JWST's specialized instruments, like the near-infrared camera, NIR-CAM, and the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, these ancient cosmic signals would remain invisible, leaving gaps in our understanding of the early universe. One of the most pressing mysteries JWST is helping to investigate is the precise rate of the universe's expansion, encoded in the Hubble constant. Scientists currently face a puzzling disagreement between two main methods of measuring this value, a problem famously known as the Hubble tension. The first method involves observing standard candles, objects whose true brightness is well known. Cepheid variable stars, which pulse rhythmically in brightness, and type Ia supernovae, exploding stars with predictable luminosity, serve as these cosmic measuring sticks. By comparing their intrinsic brightness to how bright they appear from Earth, astronomers can determine their distance. When combined with measurements of how fast these objects are moving away from us, based on redshift, the local expansion rate of the universe can be calculated. The second method turns to the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, a faint afterglow of the Big Bang discovered accidentally by Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson in 1965. This relic radiation provides a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old, mere infants compared to its current age. Tiny temperature and polarization fluctuations within the CMB encode information about the universe's composition and geometry. From this, scientists infer the expansion rate during the universe's infancy. Ideally, these two measurements, the local, present-day expansion and the early universe expansion, should align. However, they don't. The local measurements suggest the universe is expanding nearly 9% faster than what the CMB data predicts. This persistent discrepancy has sparked intense debate, pushing scientists to question whether our understanding of cosmology is incomplete. What could explain this, Hubble tension? One possibility is subtle errors or biases in the measurements, but extensive scrutiny has failed to identify a definitive problem. This leaves open a more exciting prospect. The tension may hint at new physics beyond the well-established lambda cold dark matter, lambda CDM, model. Among proposed explanations is the theory of early dark energy, a brief burst of energy shortly after the Big Bang that would have altered the universe's expansion and left subtle fingerprints in the CMB. Another possibility involves exotic particles, such as sterile neutrinos, which would interact weakly with ordinary matter but could influence cosmic evolution. Alternatively, the laws of gravity themselves might need revision at vast cosmic scales. Joost's extraordinary power lets astronomers observe distant galaxies at epochs previously unreachable, peering back in time to when the universe was less than a billion years old. Early JWST observations have revealed massive, surprisingly mature galaxies existing much earlier than traditional models predicted. These discoveries challenge long-held theories about how galaxies form and grow, 
and they might shed light on the Hubble tension by refining how we understand cosmic history. Beyond measuring expansion, JWST explores the universe's large-scale structure, the intricate cosmic web made up of galaxies, clusters, filaments, and immense voids. Matter in the universe is far from evenly spread. Gravity pulls matter into dense regions, forming the scaffolding of galaxies and clusters, separated by vast, nearly empty spaces. This structure is governed largely by dark matter, an invisible form of matter that neither emits nor absorbs light but exerts a gravitational pull on visible matter. We infer its existence through multiple lines of evidence, including the way galaxies rotate faster than visible matter alone would allow, gravitational lensing, where light from distant galaxies bends around massive objects, and patterns observed in the CMB. Scientists use JWST's infrared observations to map these distant structures in greater detail, learning how dark matter clumps and influences the formation of galaxies over billions of years. While dark matter remains elusive, ongoing terrestrial experiments aim to detect dark matter particles directly, such as weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, or hypothetical axions. Then there is dark energy, an even greater mystery, making up roughly 68% of the universe's total energy. Dark energy drives the accelerating expansion of the universe, a phenomenon discovered in the late 1990s when observations of distant supernovae revealed that the cosmos is not slowing down but speeding up. Its nature remains unknown, often modeled as a cosmological constant, a fixed energy density filling space, but theoretical predictions for its value differ from observations by an almost unimaginable factor. JWST, alongside future missions like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and the European Space Agency's Euclid mission, will help refine our understanding of dark energy by precisely measuring how the expansion rate has changed over time. These efforts could confirm whether dark energy is constant or dynamic, or even hint that modifications to Einstein's theory of gravity are necessary. The quest to resolve these cosmic mysteries highlights the evolving nature of science. Each new discovery challenges previous assumptions and pushes humanity's knowledge forward. Our picture of the universe is far from complete, but JWST's groundbreaking observations bring us ever closer to unlocking its deepest secrets. These revelations carry profound philosophical implications. As we uncover the nature of dark matter and dark energy, we edge closer to a unified theory of physics, one that could reconcile gravity with quantum mechanics, the holy grail of modern science. They also remind us of our place in a vast, ancient, and mysterious cosmos, a universe whose story we are only beginning to understand. As we stand on the brink of potentially revolutionary breakthroughs, one cannot help but wonder, what else lies beyond our current grasp? Could unknown particles, forces, or even dimensions await discovery? How might these findings reshape our understanding of reality itself? We invite you to reflect on these cosmic puzzles and share your thoughts. If you found this journey into the universe fascinating, please like this video and subscribe to Discovery at 2.0 for more explorations of space, time, and science. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.